Left. 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 People are always asking me, like, why would you teach a dog to use an iPad? And it's, you know, it's not like they're going to order dinner for you or buy books on Amazon. You know, I think people think that I'm going to say something like that as, you know, this isn't a Disney movie that we live in. Um, but you can teach them to touch it and to affect some kind of change on the screen, which really is all that we're doing when we're, you know, playing Angry Birds or Candy Crush or whatever it is. You're just touching a screen and making something happen. Um, there's one other app that I was going to suggest. It's called Doodle Buddy. Most of the apps that we use are made for um, nonverbal people. We have one app that's called uh, Yes No. Yes. That I, I call it the Oracle app, where you just touch it. It either says yes or no. You never know what's going to come up. It's kind of like a magic eight ball. Um, that's a fun one to use with a dog because you can get them to make all sorts of important decisions in your life for you. <laughs> There is also an app that we use that turns the entire uh, screen of an iPhone or an iPad into a camera button. So when they touch it with their nose, they're actually taking a photo of themselves. So we call that dog selfies. Um, and then there's some sort of finger painting apps that we use where if the dog touches the screen with their nose, it makes a little dot <laughs> where they touched it. Um, so we can let our dogs make doggy art in that way. This is another app that you can play with. I, I don't think I suggest I've gotten some really angry emails from people who say, you know, you're as dumb as a dog and Steve Jobs would be rolling in his grave. Um, but in this case, I actually don't think it's so stupid because we're giving people a way to interact with their animals and to help enrich that relationship. We're giving them a game, really, that they can play with their dog uh, using this device that they're on all the time anyway. Are you the cutest dog in here? <laughs> the more things you teach them, the better they are at learning, and that means that when it's time to teach them the important thing of, like, I need you to walk by my side, or I need you to stay here, or don't jump on that little kid, you will have sharpened those tools by teaching them the fun stuff.